This is part two of my credit cards Azure Boy, which is created on the actual credit card, the real genuine credit card. So you can use any credit card that you, you hate and just use it to make a game board and enjoy. So this is the schematics. You can uh, get this in a higher resolution from the links. I've Hi, I've completed YouTube description. So finishing I've the completed mounting the, the back. Took me a while to find so a way to make link. it secure because credit card is very fragile. So I decided to use to close some the hardware boards, very thick one, and I made a uh, especially under right under the screw it up. push buttons, so you can and have some supporting it. without damaging the credit card. It seems to work quite nice. So this is the uh, expansion port and also the port I can program using the USB ASP I can burn the latest firmware it's the free color LED this is the reset button you can select from maximum 600 games we can load into this 180 meg megabit so I run uh, one sixteen megabytes of memory. Volume control is hidden here. This is the headphone jack. Battery. I use a 300 mAh battery. The two credit card handheld game console I have. This one is the AT Tiny one.
This is the flocker. Everything. All the components are on the surface of the board. There are only some wiring at the bottom. It's all powered by the free volt battery. This is the latest one, the Arjuboy credit card Arjuboy. It's a bit thicker because the CPU boards and things like that are underneath. Let me test Right Tank 60 Plus games to the Fresh Card. So this is Mr. Brinky's Fresh Writer program. I'm writing about big Mac uh, of games, and it's done in a hundred seconds, quite fast. So it seems the 4.2 volts doesn't kill the Fresh, the serial Fresh that uh, was mentioned to have an operating voltage about 3.3 volts. So the game board has been updated with Mr. Brinky's new firmware. You see it's uh, scrolling instead of flashing uh, from one screen to the next, which is very nice. Thanks, Mr. Brinky. Let me test the function of the serial flash by using the demo program uh, that will display a cartoon. The cartoon is about 8 megabytes stored in the flash card, uh, the serial flash. Okay, let's load that and let's start the animation. So the flickering of the OLED is because of the iPhone's camera doesn't sync up with the OLED's refresh rate. Uh, but when you look at the real thing, right, there's no flickering. Thanks for watching. That's all I have for today. I'll leave the cartoon video here to let you enjoy it. It's quite long, a uh, few minutes. So if you like my video, please click like, subscribe, and send to your friends to subscribe to. See you next time.